engineers like to have control. They like to understand. But at the same time, we also are naturally curious. How do you push at the corners of that box? How do you find the little dark parts? As engineers, that's part of the fun, to look at every single thing. To leave no stone unturned. How do you make a better driver? No holds bar, no material expense. What would you do? How do we take TS to the next level? When we got to working on TSI, we had a design that we knew was going to offer us incredible speed performance, but we experienced a new failure mode. The faces were flattening. And that's not great in terms of lifetime use. We're pushing the envelope. We're trying to get that last bit, and we're close. But we didn't have a material that could pass this new creation. So that's where Uday came in. We have a joke running in the company that says that I'm always looking for unobtainium, kind of like the pot at the end of the rainbow. Uh, this one down here is what I just kind of said, Ude, is there anything that you know of that's stronger to preserve these designs? Titanium is our main metal that we use on drivers. The market is dominated by Titanium 6.4. If you want to design a load performance driver, yeah, you can use Titanium 6.4. But if you want to go to the very extreme, and design the best driver that's out there, you need something better than that. That's how we found ATI 4 to 5. The customer list for ATI is pretty short. It's NASA and the US Department of Defense. ATI is a company in Pennsylvania that produces ATI 425. Uday came to us and said, I might have a very special metal here that we should look at. And so we tested that titanium, and it had that combination of the incredible high strength and the flexibility, the resiliency of it, and it allowed us to bring TSI forward. So this is a new material called ATI. They actually make it here in the US. It allows us to go thinner and faster, speed up, spin down, distance farther. I like all of that. Mm. Yeah, that's nice right there. I love telling people it's metal made for spaceships. Oh, what a beautiful shot. Ideal right there. Oh my goodness. No, it's a little further than that, Mr. Cameraman. Comparing TS to TSI, the ball speed was noticeably higher. How about that ball speed? 179. That ATI 425 face was a game changer. If you told me we were going to start creating ATI in faces, I would have thought, well, that's a cool concept. I wonder if it works. Oh, this is striped. Obviously, it's worked. They're winning the driver count. They're winning the fairway count. In addition to all the others, sweeping the board at a tour event is very difficult. He's done a great job. Look, he's got it way past the bunker. Yeah. There's just little moments with these drivers. You just feel more empowered. With TSI, every metric that we measured, check, check, check. I couldn't make an argument that there was a better driver on the market. And while there is a speed benefit there, it wasn't just, hey, we're going to give you more speed. It was ultimately, we're going to deliver you a better product that's going to last. Yeah, that's, that's good. All of a sudden, free agents go, can I try that? We're talking about how many tour players genuinely want to play our product, whether you're a contracted player or you're a non-contracted player. With TSI, it was apparent that Titleist was a legitimate player. 
guys are not just winning tournaments, but they're bombing the ball with this driver. TSI was terrific, it was fast. But at the end of the day, our job is to make the fastest driver. And then along comes Steve Ogg.